guys back with another video as you can tell by the title i'm going to be doing a flip through of my a6 rings i decided not to include it in my 2024 planner lineup because it would make the video way too long so we are just going to be focusing on this planner today i'm going to show you all of my inserts how it's set up what i'm going to be using it for all of that so if you want to see a flip of my a6 rings then just keep on watching so sorry for the glare this is a vinyl cover and this is from paperbound creations on etsy it is the star jelly vinyl made into an a6 rings 30 millimeter gold rings i believe and this is going to be like my everything personal planner for 2024 i was using this for many years and then i decided to switch into a traveler's notebook because i wasn't really switching out my inserts too often especially my weeklies or dailies whatever i'm using at the time i would end up using it for like the whole entire month and then switching out my inserts i missed switching out my inserts or i'm missing switching out my inserts and the ease of taking everything in and out of an a6 rings don't get me wrong i do love a traveler's notebook i love when they're set up and just flipping through it i don't know what it is about it the downside of having a traveler's notebook is you're bound to booklets and when you want to switch things out it's like do you switch out the whole booklet do you just add something in do you rewrite something on something new i always struggle with that i'm sure there's an easier way but my easier way is just getting a ring bound planner switching back to a6 rings for 2024 and i love that i can change out my planner my planner cover if i want to i am loving sage green neutrals nudes boho ish right now it's just calming to me it makes me happy and to look at so i did end up changing my entire office so i think a room tour is due an updated one anyway i just want to get a couple of live plants and then i can film that i'm struggling finding plants here that are non-toxic to cats yeah i'm still on the hunt okay not that i've looked very hard yet but Besides that, I set up this planner in the same theme as my office pretty much and I am so happy about it. So again, Paperbound Creations is the planner cover. It does have a string. I think she sells a snap version also, but I still wanted it to feel like a traveler's notebook. So I did do the string or found the string version. I have an Ollie clip here. I wish I had a bigger one, but I know I just clipped it there and it's super useful because it's a super strong magnet so if i wanted to clip anything on the outside or the inside i could do that i have this from illustrated by kawi and i just love this on i don't know if she still sells these ones but i just love this so much she looks like she has so much attitude and sash drinking her starbucks coffee okay diving in so to decorate i literally just put some cardstock and i printed all of these patterns myself so every pattern that you see in here i did print myself i found two paper packs on etsy and i kind of meshed them together to create the theme for this planner i will leave those two paper packs linked down below if you're interested but this is my favorite print ever you will see it within my planner like this is just calming and i just love it so throughout my planner i have a lot of this this is a okay well if you're a 90s kid i'm going to age myself but i don't feel i don't feel like i'm very old um but if you're a 90s kid 80s kid i am sure you know what these are these are transparencies these are the things that teachers used to use to write on with their dry erase marker and project them up onto the screen so these are projection transparencies i love these because they're super thin so they don't bulk up the planner too much i use these for dividers i think you could print on them i don't i've never tried but i'm pretty sure you can also print on them if you wanted to but i love them because they're just super thin i just have the initial m i feel like a lot this was like popular to do a while back and i just keep them in my planner this one was either from hobby lobby or michael's again i printed all of the card stocks or papers that you see in my planner this is part of one of the paper packs and then i just printed them double-sided i used some cheaper cardstock it has a texture and i kind of like it but i feel like the quality is still not too bad it's a little bit grainy but i think i like that in this planner so yeah let me there that's a little bit better as far as glare goes huh yeah yeah okay so i just have that to be behind my little initial 
So how I have everything set up, the white tabs here are main sections and then these small tabs are like subcategories of that section if that makes any sense. So I did print um, the tabs names all myself and everything like that but we'll get into it when i turn to one of the tabs messy button getting stuff done this has traveled with me through every single ring planner that i have no matter the setup no matter the theme christmas halloween and now this one is just messy button getting stuff done it's from etsy if i can find this this is so old i will leave it linked down below because i do get questions when i have this i printed this myself i believe it's a printable i have not changed these pictures since they went in here it's just pictures of my kids this disney mama i just made myself out of vinyl here is another transparency with my first tab these tabs are from amazon they're avery tabs they are actually double the width but i cut them in half and then round the corners so that i have like these perfect size tabs in my opinion anyway i printed this vellum again from one of the paper packs and my first section is my inbox i mentioned in my planner lineup that i really want to utilize this planner more this year and i just want to write things down because i don't know why i just do this inbox it was a free printable from plan with b i will leave her shop link down below i have some free things from her and i have some inserts from her which you will see later but i feel like this section would be good because i forget things all the time and i tell myself okay i'll write it down later or i put it on my phone and then forget about it i want to utilize my planner more and so i have an inbox section and i plan to leave this planner open up on my desk well my other one does too but really plan on using it more another transparency with another tab this is my yearly section a piece of vellum with the favorite print that i like this is the 2024 year calendar i printed it on my gold sheen cardstock that i have and i put it on a thicker piece because this isn't going to um as you can hear it's thicker this isn't going to move from my planner all year long so i wanted it to be sturdy this is another free printable from plan with b it's just the 2024 holidays and what day they are on and then the lunar calendar is also printed on that gold sheet and cardstock because again this one will stay in my planner all year long next main section is the monthly section and then i just have this i am a gemini i believe i am a full gemini at heart and for the most part anyway a lot of things i read i was like yes that's me I found this on pinterest so i just printed it out on a piece of vellum moving in to these inserts right here here comes the garbage truck it came through on my last video and here it comes again thought it would have been here sooner perfect timing for yet another coffee break i think it's far enough now all right, moving into these inserts. They're kind of at the front because I am going to be testing these inserts. I should have printed three instead of just two, but I wanted to test them out. So these are from Plan With B. These I am just testing for the beginning of the year because these inserts could knock out two or three sections in my planner depending because one section I would want to keep. I will let you know what sections those are when we come to them, but I could really knock out three sections if I really wanted to with this one insert. So it is a fold out. I don't care for fold outs too much, but if it could take eliminate or if it could eliminate some things, then so be it. This is like I mentioned from Plan With B. Yeah, I did purchase this on her Etsy shop and it is a fold out. There's a month and a glance. There's things that you have scheduled. There's monthly tasks here. There's a note section. There's a tasks and habit section at the bottom. And on the back side, you have a weekly schedule for each week of the month, as well as a task list. And so I thought this might be good and work perfectly for me because if I wanted to take a few sections out of here, I absolutely could and just use this insert. I want to be a little bit more functional with my planner, still decorative, but more functional with my planning in my a6 ring so that's why i think that this one just might be enough for what i need and then keep like the pretty section to my dailies or my weekly planning section but everything else i mean i really just need it to be functional so what i love about these inserts is that she offers in the same file a sunday start monthly and a monday start monthly she also offers a monday and a sunday start weekly and she also offers one that has five weeks and one that has four weeks on this back section for 
me, I'm weird. And for my monthlies, I like a Sunday start. And for weeklies, I like a Monday start. And so what's good about the file is that you can just pick and choose what you're going to print on what side. So I chose the Sunday start to do for the monthly. And then on the back side, I chose the monthly start. January, I believe, I think I did this right, has five weeks in January, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, because there's only, would be only three days in February. So I did print the five week or yeah for the five week out in here and this is would be a pre-planner so anything that i know is happening i could write here monthly tasks i don't know if i would actually use this section or not but i have it to write any additional things a note section there's a tracker because i do want to start tracking things in here i can just pre-plan anything that i know that's going on for the month and have just all of the space to do all of the pre-planning things for the entire month and so yeah i'm testing these out see how it goes i'm sure i'll have an update at some point i just have two for now moving on i have this vellum from simply gilded and then i go into my actual monthly section that i was going to use prior to finding these inserts from plan with me i was impatient i love these monthly inserts from kailani designs co i kept checking to see if she had 2024 available and it wasn't up and i wanted to set this planner up so bad and i wanted to have all my sections done so i reprinted 2023 and i just covered the 2023 part so i covered the 2023 with this large 2024 sticker i covered up or no yeah i covered up the whole where it says february or january 2023 on the side and then i just redated it so yeah, I feel bad. I might go and purchase 2024 when she has it available, but since I've already started in here, I think I might just continue in here or, well, she should have it soon up, up soon, right? I'm pretty sure she's still like making things for her channel. I don't know, but I do feel bad because I, I, I do want to support her, but I just, I needed it in my planner already. And I really like her inserts because they're just simple and straightforward. I like the font and it's just simple. So I just used a month sticker from my shop and then these snowflake stickers are an old $2 Tuesday and I just redated it. I like the look of the bigger numbers because I don't use this section too often. It's really just to kind of make pretty for the month. This is one insert that that other insert could eliminate but because I like to decorate I might keep this section in here still. I don't I haven't fully decided yet. Okay so that is the monthly insert. Moving on to the next major section Section, which is the tracker section. I have it on this piece of acetate. I don't remember where this is from, probably scrapbook.com and it's just got a bunch of paper clips on it. I have this dashboard tabbed with the first section, subsection, subcategory of my tracker section, which is bills. I have, did I say? This dashboard, I believe, is from Foxy Fix. Maybe not because it doesn't say Foxy Fix, so I don't know where this dashboard is from. But I just have some two pictures that I really like. This is my absolute favorite view. It's you drive around the mountain along the coastline, and then when you come out, if you're heading like into town way, I guess you could say. I can't really explain it, but this is the view coming down the hill, and I love it any time of day really but sunset is always my favorite and this is a diamond head in the background it's just this is one of my favorite views this is home to me and then on the back i just have a picture of my cats my cats love the ac and we don't turn it on too often but as soon as it goes on these two cats are right in front of where the air is blowing so here is pixie and here is bella and i got them both to look at the camera but the ac is on and they're just they're, they were loving it. Next, I have this piece of vellum that I printed that I love so much. It says, breathe deeply, think clearly. I found this on Pinterest, just printed it on some vellum. And I don't know, I just love, ble love breathe deeply, think clearly, because that's literally what I do when I'm having like a moment. I just, I take it, close my eyes. I take a deep breath and I try to think of something different to change everything. So breathe deeply, think clearly. One of my favorites next is my bill section i have some sticky notes on the front of this so i've been using these for the past few years a couple of years i don't remember i love them they're super simple i don't know where they're from i will find them link them down below i wish i know it might be annoying to some people but i love when the inserts the name is somewhere on the insert so i can reference and tell you where they're from because i have no idea even though i've been using them for the past couple of years but it's super simple i just write what bill it's for i write and then it's Monday, not Monday, 
January through December. I just write the amount and check it off. And then up here you can write when it is due and it's perfect. So that is that. I have enough for all of the bills that I track. The next track section in my daily no, the next section in my tracker section is daily. I have this on a piece of cardstock. These tabs are also from Amazon. Printed that myself. This is another section that that one insert could eliminate from my planner. And I want to start daily tracking. I was doing it in my Hobonichi Cousin when I was journaling, but I kind of fell off of that. So I'm going to track it in here instead, possibly in my journal i'm not I, I haven't decided yet but i was tracking things like if i had a migraine if i worked that day no spend days water intake if i got outside at some point so that is what i'm going to be using this section for again if i can eliminate it with that one insert i probably will so there's just less things in here and just to simplify it this vellum, I don't know where it's from. I want to say Heather B. Co., but I don't know if that's even right or if that's even her name. But it's a piece of vellum. I like this print. My next section is order trackers. And I know it says check register, but I'm going to be using it as an order tracker. I'm just going to cover that with some washi tape. Washi tape this column and this column. Wipe that stuff out. And I'm just going to use the date section for the date that I ordered it, who it's from, and if I received it or not. I mean, I track this on my phone too, but I thought it would be fun to write to the things down so I just have a couple of those inserts next I have a piece of vellum I believe this one's from Hobby Lobby maybe scrapbook.com I have no idea I have this on a simple tab because I don't know if I'm going to keep this in here but it's my reading tab I kind of fell off of reading I was doing really well like I read all of these within less than two months I just was go 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 any free time I had I would read and yeah I have a kindle but I know I, I don't know I want to get back into reading but I have these in here just to track them i don't know where these are from either like i wish like i wish right right here super tiny i just wish i had where who it was from next transparency is my or major section is my vacation tab i have this vinyl that i just put on there it's super old because this i mean the most vacations we track is probably disney which we are not going this year i found this ombre on pinterest so i just printed it out because this is like the theme of my planner and my office so i thought that would be good next is a trigger packing list from plan with me it is a free print this is more so like I would use this for like long-term vacations so I just thought that was good to have in here I have notes on here my next section is my uh, DVC section and I have notes on those pages so I'm gonna just flip past that there's a piece of vellum in there so we are Disney Vacation Club members and our home place is our home hotel is Alani because we live in Hawaii if you didn't know if you're new to my channel hi welcome uh we live in hawaii and we love staycations and the hotels in waikiki while they're great it's very touristy and we just we like disney we love disney so alani seemed the best place to do staycations if you don't have a dvc membership nightly rates are absolutely insane so we decided to purchase a timeshare and we love it so we go pretty often i purchased a good chunk of points so we could go multiple times a year we can book 11 months in advance so how i'm using this insert it's a brain dip brain brain dimp <laughs> what brain dump insert this one's from list lab i don't think she's called list lab anymore though i'll leave her shop linked down below i am going to be using this to track point usage and our staycation so here i plan on writing how many points we started off with how many points left over after we book our next staycation so here i'll write what date we're going what room we booked and any other notes that i would need for that staycation and then this would be just like a point tracker so i can minus and add as the years go on so that's how i'm using this brain dump insert i have previous years points chart 2021, 2022, 2023. I do need to print 2024. Right after all of that, I have a packing list. This I was supposed to fill out months ago, maybe even a year ago of the generic Alani packing list. We usually only stay one night. Occasionally we will stay at two nights. I have the packing list on my phone, but I just want to write it down and put it in here. So I really need to do that because this has been sitting blank for a very long time. The next section, I don't have a, I have it tabbed, but I don't have a label for it. This is going to be for any other trip that we are planning and then if i need to i can put another section in here for strictly like our disneyland trip we are 
not going to Disney this year. We're going to Vegas next year. Hopefully Disney again next year. We will see. Times are hard. Times are hard. Anyways, for now, I just have notes on different ski resorts. We have been trying to plan a ski trip for a while now. So I just have some ski resort notes. I didn't really finish it, but I just put the resort here and then I'm just taking notes on it on this section. As you can see, I like these inserts. They're from Annie Plants Principles, I believe. So that is that. Next, I have my this week section, which is going to be where my dailies and weeklies go, the one that I decorate for the week. I have it on this green glitter acetate that I made a long time ago. I just literally sprinkled glitter inside a laminating sheet and laminated it with the bow and then cut out around it the size that I needed. Actually, I put a transparency in here so I knew exactly where I needed to cut and it made it a lot easier and it's nice and thick and sturdy. I wanted to use it for this section because this is a section that I'm going to be turning to a lot and I can easily find this very sturdy tab wherever my planner is open to. I have a another printed piece of cardstock and then my inserts are going to sit here if you can't tell this is pretty much in the middle of the planter planter oh my gosh middle of the planner so that my section that I'm going to probably be using the most it's like even on both sides especially for pictures yeah I planned it so that it goes in the middle of my planner this is going to be the back side of my daily or weekly inserts whatever I'm choosing for the week so that is there the next section is my kids section transparency there is a pocket here I do plan on putting I don't know a picture or something remind me of kids quotes I don't know something on this I found this on Pinterest it had the perfect colors that I wanted and there's three hearts I have three kids so that is that next I have my son's and my daughter's um, school schedule just so I can know what period they are in and here is just a picture of my kids that I printed to fit on a size of an insert so that is that I should have printed something on the back I mean I think I still could I don't know this vellum is from simply gilded my time is about to run out that means I've been talking for 27 minutes okay how do we start the camera this I believe is from Heather B Co think it just says vibes there's a monstera leaf i love monsteras i wish i could have a monstera in here because i want some live plant but i think what i was reading they can be toxic to cats i need to do more research you'll see that i have a plant section here that has nothing in it yet but moving on to the next big category which is my listing section my first subcategory is home it's on this piece of vellum i believe this is from heather b co i'm getting away from black and i know there's black on here but i like leopard print so i put it in here anyway i think i might change this vellum though so my next section is home section and these are my favorite inserts to use for home projects anything to do with a house that would need like a main section and then a to-do list these are from annie plans printables in here i just write whatever section that that we're working on so say like I did the our closet so I wrote master closet in this section and then I just wrote everything that I wanted to do here in like checklist form so it's like declutter donate organize dust if I had to purchase anything I would write it here also it is blank because I just printed these inserts but these are where like home projects go or any type of thing that we're trying to focus on will go in this section another piece of vellum I believe this one's from I don't know something gilded maybe I don't know. Next is my wish list section. I do have a wish list on my phone, but I'm in this point where I just want to write everything down and have everything written down. I believe this insert is from Jacenia Printables, which I'm sorry is closed. It's just a basic list, and I'm sure you can find something like this in a lot of different shops, but I'm just going to write my little category. So on my phone, I have like fountain pen, I have makeup, I have planner things. So I just want to make my wish list for different categories. Next is this vellum from again. I think her name is Heather Biko. I I purchased these so long ago and Heather Biko sounds right, but I don't know if it's right. I'll leave her shop link down below. I'm pretty sure she's still open. Next is my list section. This doesn't have a tab because I don't think I knew what to name it because these are lists that's just going to sit in here that I can reference to. So I didn't know what to name it. But anyways, I have these. I believe these are also from Jacenia Printables, so I'm sorry about that. But this is lists that I can, like I said, reference to. So dinner list, there's much more. These are old. I kind of want to redo my list. Uh, this one doesn't even need to be in here. This is for Jaden's birthday, uh, which list a couple of years ago because I'm seeing Converse on here and he doesn't even wear Converse's anymore. A song list that like came to my head and I had to write them down so I wouldn't forget them again. That's continued places to eat 
uh, for our day dates. I need to add a bunch more to this list that I have on my phone. But again, these are just reference lists. I need to print some more. I believe this is from, this is the same one as earlier. This is from scrapbook.com. So as you can tell, each section kind of ends with paper and begins with a paper, some kind of decorative item. And then in between, sometimes I'll use decorative paper as tabs. Next is my notes section. And this, I am getting away from pink. I took all of the pink things out of my office, minus a few like sections. Like I have a lot of pink planners. And of course, Cheshire Cat is pink. And I actually took him out from a lot of my room. And now he has this little corner cubby right up here. I love this little leopard print or leopard. It's leopard, right? I don't know. It is pink. I do have a feeling this is going to come out at some point and I'll replace it with something else. But for now, it's in here. It's cute. This is my notes section and I left this in here. It's pink. I want to remove it. This it's just my notes section. Like I'll have anything notes related in here. Currently it has pen tests, which I do want to rewrite on the inserts that I actually want to use in here. And then the other notes that I have is just on the sticky note. This is the Kiss brand nails and they have numbers on them. So I just wrote down what numbers fit on each one of my nails to make it easier. I kind of memorized it already, so I really don't need it, but it's in there in case for some reason my brain wants to forget. I have that in here, but I'll transfer that off of this pink stuff. These are the inserts I will be rewriting my pen test on this is from planner room and this vibe just matches the planner perfectly it's got leaves it's got some greenish brown tones it's got planners and monstera leaves and i'm so happy that i found these inserts because it just matches this planner so well so i do need to rewrite everything okay next is my plants section like i mentioned i want to get a i want to get three or four plants for in my office but again i need to do my research make sure that they are not toxic to cats since I do have two and Bella plays with everything so I really need to be careful and then I have these house plant care guide these are from plan with B on her Etsy shop and I haven't taken any notes yet I've looked things up but I haven't went as far as writing anything down just yet but I do have these so even when I do get the plant then I can just write you know the watering um, and any notes on that specific plant the last section, I have a small tab here. It's not labeled because it really doesn't need to be labeled, but it's my password section. I have a piece of vellum here that I printed. The passwords covers from Annie Plans Printables. I think I might put something else here instead because it's kind of, I don't care for the flower print on this one. So I might change that out, but it's literally just the cover page for the password inserts that I do actually use, which again, I have no idea where these are from. I have a number here so previously i just wrote anything and everything down in no particular order and i always had a hard time trying to find especially if i forgot the password what it was so in my tn actually i broke it down into categories so i will have like anything to do with bills or money i would have shopping on one page anything to do with the kids on another page and so on and so forth i forgot what other categories i used so i do have a number of inserts here so that i can really break it up so it's easier to find what password i am looking for another piece of paper a page lifter in the back which where is did i put it in here i must have put it in my traveler's notebook the office um when my grandma passed away when it was kind of empty and the light was shining through it's a black and white photo i need to put that in here after. okay and the last thing that i have in here which that insert could eliminate and i wouldn't feel too bad because this was like 12 dollars it is the A6 Hobonichi Weekly Supplement, and I'm using this currently this year, and I have these tabs from my shop. Um, they did overlap, so June overlaps August because I ran out of room. I mean, if I didn't spread them out, if I bunched them close together, I could probably all get them all in a line, but this doesn't really bother me. So this is literally just a weekly spread like so. And I just, anytime the kids tell me that they have something, I'll write it in here. Uh, when the bills need to get paid, I will go ahead and pre-plan that. And then prior to the week starting, I'll go in here and just write down what needs to be done for each day that I know of. So that's how I'm using this insert, but I think that insert in the beginning that I showed you could probably eliminate this one. That's what I'm really need to test because this has a lot of space, whereas that one not so much, but I think it'll still work. We'll see. And that is the end of the planner. I just have the same cover 
or the same print on the back and the front and then same with this also back in the front and this one if you are again a 90s kid probably even an 80s kid you used to cover your textbooks with paper usually a brown paper bag from like Safeway or something you would flip it inside out and you would cover your books because all of your books needed to be covered so I use that same concept for this because this is like an ugly green I don't like that green color so I just printed a piece of paper with the patterns that I was using and then folded it into a book cover. So yeah, those skills definitely came in handy to cover that notebook. And that is it. I am so tired of talking. I've been talking for now, what is that? 27 plus 10 minutes? 37. 37 minutes to flip through this. Hopefully I can bring that down, but I haven't filmed a YouTube video in a long time, so it felt nice to talk about something that I love. And yeah, that is a flip through of my A6 rings that I'm hoping to utilize a lot more this coming year, especially. Hello, Bella. Hello. Utilize way more in 2024, and with it set up the way it is, I think I'll be able to because I have found myself flipping through this multiple times already just to look at everything even though there's really nothing too much in it yet. But that is that. That is a full flip through of my A6 rings. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you always so much for watching and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye guys.